or white we are one from the back we've got a good sounding good looking Aston Martin maybe we should try and stay behind Max Verstappen and just push him along we'd save a lot of uh, fuel see how turn one goes first nice clean turn one this race a little bit of traffic up there oh no I am sorry chat the chat or YouTube has just decided to go nuts I want to push this guy forwards and see if he can go further somebody has just been killed and died There we go, Max is going. Yeah, sorry. Alright, so the guys at front aren't really fuel saving. Looks like they're just kind of fighting a little bit. I don't know how you managed to do that. And just like that, we're up to ninth. That was an outbreaking crazy maneuver and then uh, a go wide and it sounded like a murder behind. That guy's gone into the pits again. I think he did it last race. Just get up into their slipstream and maybe just tag along for a lap. Might have just picked up a penalty there, might have been two pixels out. Should tell me now if I did. No, and we'll get round budget racer, so that was a good time to choose to speed up. I think that's one thing that I would like and the option to have a, a spotter who could tell you about your fuel or cars inside outside I think that's really helpful on ACC and iRacing I think it would help potentially races in GT7 as well if your hands aren't sweating you aren't going fast enough put that on a t-shirt another guy pit why pit not got enough fuel either I mean they they don't I've got enough fuel they were at 21 percent I was at 40 so <laughs> I've got more than enough yeah they're good well you can't really see much but they're black and they're nicely padded so I think they'll last just went a little bit wide there in case you tried to chop up the inside don't have my uh, radar on like I should really just gonna burn some fuel to try and get away from this little swift because he's a little bit of a pain in my my racing bumper another person's pitted two people have pitted I think we'll get round them oh wow goatskin I did joke that I just get some welders gloves you know Max Verstappen is holding on in there
just using up some fuel, get away from. I don't think we're going to crack out of a slip, uh, a slipstream, but we might be able to just stop the threat from happening in the last lap by getting some good corners in here. Leading the world champion, Max Verstappen, how good is that? Right, we went a little bit overboard there, so we need to save fuel again. Another penalty behind though, so that's okay. And somehow we're now in the lead be uh, because game is why pitted. <sighs> okay, so game is why was behind me. Surely he saw that I I never pitted. I just don't understand the people that don't, you know, kind of work out that strategy quickly. We have literally gone from last to first, everybody. <laughs> it totally isn't, Wob Bob. I knew when I saw it, it's only 10 laps, it's like there's no way that you're faster unless it was softs and hards and you had to use hards or something. And even then I don't think there's enough time because you would have to be, you'd have to be three seconds faster a lap every lap to make it count. So we're running low on fuel now. We've got two seconds so from this corner on we really need to stop doing what we're doing. Yeah exactly. GT champions on the, on the fuel numbers for me. We're short by point one and a bit. And we've got two seconds ish. And it's the Suzuki Swift, so we know it's not fast in a straight line. As any can't even make use of my slipstream really. Yeah, look at that, the Delta's climbing up a little bit. Even though it's at 1.2, it's not even really making an attempt to use the slipstream. Just have to ride it smooth. Oh, he's had an issue. Issue through the, the bus stop. Uh, there you go, there is a great hint there from GT Champions. If you, For everybody else, if you're watching, you need 0.4 as you climb the hill, and we're at 0.4, which means we're about half, half short at the moment. So we're not breaking the lap record, I can tell you that, but um, you know this this has actually ended up a pretty good car to use. I think if those other guys had actually bothered to use the, the no-stop strategy, you know, um, then we'd be in trouble with the GTRs for sure. Even if we run out of fuel here across the line, we're all good. Perfect fueling again, just too much save on the last one, but I don't know what to say. Why is Gang knew about the strategy he had to have? Anyway, Max and I, way we went. 
Oh, Fernandez. Uh, must have got a punt or something like that. But why quit, you know? One rule of uh, GT7 DR club is that you never quit. <laughs> it's your DR tanks. It's better to finish last than it is to just quit it, for sure. So that was a pretty good race. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised that we won that from the back and not the meta car and not the second best meta car either it's like the nobody uses this car 